Alright, hello guys and welcome to our weekly forecast. Today we're going to be talking about the 11th through the 17th and looking at our temperature forecast. But before I get started with the video, I would ask that if you are a new viewer and you are looking at this video, we do these once a week and if you would consider subscribing if you do like this concept because we do have these once a week out for you guys. So if you find this information very useful, I would highly recommend subscribing to my channel. Anyway, let's get started with our video. Now we're looking at our temperature anomalies here and you can see the trend is below average temperatures for the western United States and above average temperatures for the southeastern United States and I wanted to mention you can look back at my February forecast video it didn't get a lot of views for a monthly forecast that's okay though but if you do go back and look at it you will see that these weekly forecasts have been really correlating with that monthly forecast and this monthly forecast has been verifying very very well probably the most accurate monthly forecast I've ever put out honestly uh, so it's looking very good so far uh, and and these weekly forecasts continue to keep correlating with those and I'm very happy about that. Now we do see our below average temperatures extend from the southwestern United States into the northwestern United States where we get far below average temperatures in the darkest shade of blue. And that extends eastward all the way to Missouri, Kansas, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, those areas. And in, in your deeper blues, we're looking at more and more uh, below average temperatures or at least more consistently. In these lighter shades, sometimes you will see warmer temperatures in the lighter shade of blue or in the lighter shade of orange. You might see below average temperatures sometimes, uh, but in the darker shades, you're much more consistent and much colder uh, in that well below average temperature area that extends from Washington through Idaho into Montana into Wyoming and into the Dakotas. Now looking at our southeastern portion of the United States we see well we'll start with Texas and uh, New Mexico you can see there's that little bit of orange in there that's where we're looking at the medium amounts of above average temperature so we'll be quite consistent with that and it will be quite warm uh, as well as for areas in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina and Florida we're going to be looking at similar conditions for those areas as well and those slightly above average temperatures are going to extend all the way north into Ohio and Pennsylvania, Maryland. You're not going to believe it with the snow coming earlier in the week uh, but we are going to warm up quite a bit but as you head further south along the east coast it's going to get warmer and warmer and warmer until you reach uh, the Gulf states. Now we're going to move on to our precipitation forecast now and you can see we have some slightly below average precipitations there for Washington state and some portions of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. Moving into our above average precipitation though you can see that we do have that for the southwestern United States particularly California, Nevada, and Oregon. This year has just been a blessing for you guys as far as the rain goes. You guys have been getting above average precipitation for weeks and weeks and weeks now really good news for you guys and it's really uh, chipping away at that drought and I'm just really happy for you guys on the west coast out there. Uh, very good news and the good news continues. Uh, we're going to have a winter storm hitting midweek and that's really going to lead to these above average uh, precipitation amounts, particularly for the mountains of California. We have those that very dark shade of uh, green. Again, that means more above average precipitation and you, you see that medium shade takes over most of the state. Really good news again. Now we move into the southeastern United States and really the east coast and we see those slightly above average precipitation amounts from Florida all the way up uh, into portions of Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee and that extends to the northeastern United States into portions of Pennsylvania and New Jersey but it cuts off north of there. Um, and then we head west with that and you can see Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota and portions of South Dakota as well. Uh, we're looking at those slightly above average precipitation amounts as well. Uh, but we do have a, a medium shade of green there that extends from northern Alabama, northern Georgia, northern South Carolina, into Tennessee, Kentucky, eastward into West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland, and Delaware, portions of southern New Jersey as well. That's where we're going to be seeing uh, two storms possibly, two pretty rainy storms for you guys. Maybe even snowy on the second one, or north, or actually for Maryland and Delaware we, in New Jersey, we could be looking at a bit of snow. It's probably snowing right now actually for those areas. Uh, and we're going to move on to our special note segment of the of the video here, and we do these every week again, uh, and we kind of go over all the major uh, storm events that will be hitting throughout the, the time period. You can see from the 11th through the 14th, we have Winter Storm Maya. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, so this isn't really news. Uh, I just wanted to put this in here, obviously. In this pink zone, you will be uh, heavily affected by this storm. I know it's been raining like crazy here in Virginia, so that's all due to Winter Storm Maya. And uh, the northeastern United States, you're going to you're gonna feel it as well with a lot of ice and a lot of snow for you guys. Special note number two, we have Winter Storm Nadia that just got named. That's going to be for the uh, northwestern United States right now, but that's going to kind of 
dig its way south into California and Nevada, and that's going to lead to almost all of our precipitation for those areas. So it's going to be a lot of precipitation. Then it's going to move eastward into the Rockies, and this has kind of been a trend. We see those storms start on the west coast and then move uh, to the southern Rockies, California or Colorado area, uh, and then you can see it really spreads out from there. Uh, and that's not because it's going to really heavily affect all those areas. It's because there's a lot of uncertainty past that point where it's going to affect. Uh, but I'd say straight down the middle and south of the storm, obviously, you're going to get rain in the southeastern United States, most likely. And then northeastern United States, we could be looking at some snow or something similar to Maya uh, with this storm as it looks to take a similar track once it hits the eastern United States. Now, we're going to move on to our special note number three. Uh, and this is going to be uh, a storm from the 14th through the 17th. And this is going to be a smaller winter storm, so I don't expect this one. Well, it could get named, but I don't necessarily uh, expect it to. Is It's going to be uh, quite minor compared to the, the, the first two special notes. This one's going to move from the northwestern United States through to the, the Rockies and then up into the Great Lakes area, and then it'll be out of here. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this and you are a new viewer, I highly recommend subscribing. This series comes out once a week, very consistently. I've been doing these since, uh, I think, early December or maybe even November, so I've been really on track with these, and a lot of people find this information in these videos very, very useful in the weekly forecast, and the weekly forecast, since it's only seven days out, uh, are highly accurate. So if this information is very useful to you, again, I would recommend subscribing. Anyway, guys, have a great week, and I hope to see you next week.